Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. The failed attempt. Or failed experiment. The great experiment. My friends, the great experiment. This was a journey. For sure. There was a lot of things that inspired me to do something like this, and it was sort of like a, um, well, from a few videos ago, we did, like, the Dragius SSTO. So I knew that with enough thrust and enough fuel, I could get anything into orbit. So I figured, why not make an SSTO that's, well, you know, freaking huge, but is capable of lifting a lot of stuff up to maybe 150 pounds, or excuse me, tons, pounds, yeah right, 150 tons or so into orbit. But just getting tonnage itself into orbit isn't really that impressive if it's not useful tonnage. Now I guess you could say that fuel is useful, but if you're going to make a tanker, you can just put that all into one type of design. You wouldn't need an SSTO to carry up actual fuel tanks, you just make the whole giant thing a fuel tank, flying fuel tank. No, in reality, if you want to have useful cargo, that means you're gonna have things like building materials, habitats, science stuff, maybe even fuel tanks, but they're empty, so that when you put the, when you put whatever it is you're putting in orbit together, then you can fuel it up. Maybe even spaceship parts, if, they're, if the spaceship that you're building in orbit is modular. You could build two different uh, large vehicles, one that carries the parts up there, and then the one that actually fuels everything up. So I opted for something that just carries the parts up there. I wanted something that could not only operate in the water, but also on ground or land. So I wanted a VTOL, a very large VTOL freighter, SSTO. A lot of inspiration came from Homeworld. Their ships were typically kind of flat, flat, real flat, uh, had a, um, well, well, here's a picture of one. It's a very simplified design. I wanted to, I wanted it to be a real, like, working kind of freighter, not just have one um, lift or one ramp, but Two. So on economical, uh, economical sense, you could be unloading it at the same time you're loading it, kind of thing. Or at least you could you could unload the back and unload the front quicker, and then load the front and load the back, so it's real fast, a quick turnaround time, as they say. That was the idea behind all of this, but uh, huh. well, after working on it for a few days, I found out that this design simply is not going to work. When I first built the craft, I thought maybe sections would make it stronger, have like a middle attachment, kind of a backbone kind of thing, and then have each section come together using um, struts and stuff. But unsurprisingly, as soon as you loaded it up into the uh, game world, it crumbled. So I went for the more spaghetti design, starting from one end and then just having it, sh having all the fuselages stretch out from that end, using a hell of a lot of auto struts as well as regular struts. That seemed to work a little bit until I, uh, I was having problems because it was exploding every chance it got. So I opted to put even more struts on the thing. I strutted everything up in front to try to keep that spaghettification happening, and I strutted the area that held the engines. Now this seemed to work. It was it was 100% stable and I was really happy with the results but now we had a problem of not enough fuel. It had the strength, it had the capacity, and it even had the thrust but not enough fuel. After trying to put some more fuel on it I noticed that the design was kind of getting uglier and uglier. And as we all know what makes an SSTO great is not only how it operates but how it looks. Now now I did everything I could think of from strutting even more stuff to adding more fuel. I even played around with different types of designs when it came to engine placement to try to get as much as I could out of a tighter spot. But sadly what we're looking at is a combination of not only size but also drag and lift and just plain not enough thrust and not enough fuel. Now I could make this thing really ugly and slap a crap ton of engines and a crap ton of fuel on there and that would probably work but then it wouldn't look as nice or as sleek anymore I mean there's a way to do it there's a way to make it look good and still have enough fuel and thrust it would uh, I'd, I would have to shrink it a little bit so it's not so long give it a more robust look 
some more control surfaces and of course throughout the entire testing the uh, back and front bays were out of control I was using things like same vessel interaction to try to keep them from clipping through the through the top of the vessel but unfortunately they are wings and they will catch the wind and they will try to free themselves maybe next time I'll just use some sort of uh, plate some steel plates as it were maybe even uh, I don't know well there is is a type of bay design that I could try but that would also mean that I have to cut the floor away it'd be a design where the front of the front and back of course but the the front of the door would swing either out or in preferably in and then the actual floor underneath would drop down into a ramp and to connect it, I could have like a little Kerbal walk out there and actually manually put struts on it to keep it from flopping around during takeoff. That's an idea. But as of right now, I'm going to have to throw in the towel with this design. It's a fascinating concept. I, I like it. It's, it's, it's got a lot of room for uh, growth. I could definitely make it work with a few more days worth of uh, testing. If, of course, I had these days all to myself, which at this moment in time i don't sorry so sorry but i, I like it though I, I i can't i can't not not keep trying it's it's gonna have to take a back seat for a while but i like the idea of this massive ssto that's more of a ship than it is a space plane and it can land in the water and or it can land vertically on land and take off and just carry a whole lot of stuff one could even imagine that maybe it would dock with with some sort of fueling station in orbit and have enough Delta V to go to the moon or Minmus. And then when it lands, it's got like trucks and cars and it just, they all start driving out, you know, and then the base starts getting built up around the ship, which would be pretty cool. But sadly on its last flight, I just kind of, I just kind of gave up and watched it as it fell from the sky and crashed into the ocean. And then uh, of course, uh, one of the parts decided to uh, become freaking possessed but anyway pretty cool concept I, I can't say that enough it's a really cool concept and i want to get back to it when i have the time as for right now i'm going to be working a lot of the week uh, a lot of weekends till it starts to get cold and then they cut back on the overtime so until then i'll just work on small things but yeah yeah pretty cool pretty neat i don't really have a name for it yet other than orca seemed like a cool name at the time i mean it is technically seaworthy it could be just a big boat technically it could turn it into an aircraft carrier but anyway before before I end this video, I do want to give a few shout outs to a couple of channels that really deserve it. So if you could check them out for me and give them some love. The first channel to check out would be Maniac Panda. He actually makes a lot of cool stuff, uh, Star Trek related stuff, and he does it with such detail. And I'm almost, I'm almost sure that everything that he uses to build these crafts are 100% stock. I, I, I can't, I can't, uh, uh, I don't know for sure, but I haven't seen anything that isn't stock. So so definitely check him out. Pretty cool. Also, we have Inter's Odyssey. He does a lot of neat little uh, virtual reality um, uh, games that he plays. Occasionally, he throws in some KSP crafts, some wild, crazy KSP crafts. Definitely check him out. Give him some love. And then finally, for now, we have N9 Gaming. He's pretty cool. He he, uh, he does something called For All Kerbal Kind. It's a really cool uh, series that he's got going on right now. Definitely check him out. Give him some love. And there's a whole bunch I wish I could do a shout out for, but unfortunately, I don't have time right now. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like, and if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. I upload often, mostly Kerbal Space Program, for now. We also have a membership program if you're interested. If you get a membership, you get a little cool little emoji and a uh, badge and stuff or whatnot next to your name. Pretty cool, check it out. But anyway, I am Veos. Love you all, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.